Labyrinth of Love to me uh, represents the, the, different, the different roads you take and the different paths that you, you come across when you, when you encounter uh, a partner. And sometimes the relationships that we have with them, they're not that good, they're not that positive, and some of them are really great and memorable. Well, first of all, it introduces to me the idea that there can be this notion of, uh, of navigating and negotiating your way through, in, out of this concept of love. The, the singer, for example, is weaving her way through these different worlds, these different emotions, until we come to an end. So you have moments of beautiful, languorous movement, particularly when um, Estella, one of the incredible dancers, is essentially guided, dragged, um, lifted around the stage in various ways, um, sometimes in the most heartbreakingly vulnerable way, and sometimes um, with such extraordinary determination and muscularity. This is a piece by Michael Doherty, written for soprano and chamber orchestra. The piece is based uh, on, on the poetry um, um, by these um, the female poets of uh, 2,000 years. I listen to the music probably 100, 200, 300 times. And whilst I'm listening, obviously there are images and pictures just flashing in my head. And after the 200th time, whatever images stick are usually, for me, the best ones. So I would start workshopping, creating lots of material so that the, the material is a bit like building blocks. I will choose two dancers or three dancers and just say, okay, use the material we've just created, but you can chop it up, do whatever you want, but using the same language. So it was more like we took the phrases and mixed them up ourselves and then created our own kind of material out of what she had given to us before. I thought the, the fact that we have these beautiful singers um, and they're you know, the same age group as the dancers, so I thought it would be very beautiful to bring them together and, and to see the source of where the voice comes from. Because Kirsty and I innocently came along for a meeting with the choreographer, which she thought would be lovely, and uh, we sang a couple of songs, didn't we? Yeah. And then what did she say? Right, pop your shoes and socks off. And so we did. <laughs> and um, I don't know, did you think I thought about going your home? Face. But when you have the soprano singers in the room, and they're belting it out while we're dancing. It's like they, they bring so much emotion and your skin is, is, is crawling because of the, the intensity. Yeah. That we, we, we do have a couple of little moves and a couple yeah. of lifts, which is very exciting. Yes, that's, that's my be, favorite bit. That's when you've been brought up in a classical tradition of, of um, performing and studying music, uh, I often think that one of the things that we're most anxious about is going wrong. And um, what I think is really wonderful about watching dancers put something together that starts off in some way improvised or coming from an idea and then it evolves. And there's something so liberating about that. We're all just learning by working together, which is a really organic process. You have to be very open and that's the, most, that's the wonderful thing about collaborating, that you have new impulses, new ideas. Totally amazing. I can't tell you how... Uh, in awe of all the dancers I am. I just think they're just so wonderful. I skip home after every rehearsal. The costumes for the women, we have a dress. Yeah, it's like a dress, kind of going to the mid-thigh with um, lots of panels. Of look, they look like a paper effect. Yeah. Um, Connor and, and Matt, it's been really, really gorgeous working with them because we sat down um, and really just started to brainstorm and you you realised immediately that everybody just wanted to create a beautiful piece of art. When I initially read the poems, I felt quite happy with the project because they were all uh, emotive in some way or other. I already had a few videos that I made, which were kind of made as my artworks. They were things just to be viewed as projections or on LCD screens, and they lent themselves quite well to some of the, some of the tone of some of the poems. There's another section where I turn into a creature and I wear two different layers of, of a dress, as a, a really long dress. Adam, one of the dancers, is going to be underneath me. He'll be holding me on his shoulders. She becomes this giant of a woman towering above these men that are trying to manipulate her and she's contorting her body and she takes on this matriarchal figure and then she loses her legs 
and then she tumbles down and becomes a, a mermaid and really fragile, just floating in the space. Because he will disappear and I just be left with this really long dress that for me represents like a kind of trail of, of love. We played these roles of this man uh, she's been with or she would like to be with. We form like a memory, kind of like a, almost like a past in a sense for mm. me when I watch it. It's I was thinking the other day that really um, quite a lot of these poems involve sort of a bit of madness actually. Um, it's a bit like singing a, a Pessel um, mad song, sort of Bess of Bedlam, who's been driven mad by love. A uh, Labyrinth of Love to me is a long sojourn into the dark night. You get lost in in love, in all different kind of relationships. There will always be a big question mark in everything. You will encounter paths where you've gone through before or they, they're kind of open and long and you'll never know where, where this is going to go to. You know, you all, we always pursue in love. Mm. Because when we have love, then we get this happiness, kind of some kind of sense of fulfillment. Yeah, and trying to, I guess, whatever situation you are in, Ruth, regards to love, is to try and find your way through. So it, it is like a labyrinth because sometimes you're going, you're going along, you meet somebody and then it doesn't work and then you have to go another way and then it doesn't work. So it, you just keep moving along, trying to find the, the kind of perfect person for you.